chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video let's get right into it why it seems like people have a problem with you acquiring your desires getting fly enjoying yourself and becoming successful you know we're about to talk about it the reason why it seems like everyone else can enjoy themselves have a good time and go out and be successful and do the things they do without anyone trying to stop them or get in the way or be weird to them or judge them or, you know, try to uh, throw shade at them or indirectly come at them or, you know, try to be a, a, a bully towards them or be weird towards them or have something uh, to say about them is because the thing about other people is when they become successful and things like that they are low radar with it all right you have something in you that other people don't possess all right and there's going to be things that there's going to be uh things that people see in you that causes them to feel some type of way about you all right it's something in you that you have that is is not is, is either lying dormant in others or it doesn't exist in others and the thing you have in you they don't have it all right. So when you go to become successful, they're upset. All right. When certain people do things and they get all fly and they get nice and, you know, they get draped up and dripped out and it's on them. And that's that's the only place you're going to see it. It's just on them. You, you're going to you're going to see a lot of people with things on them. You don't see a lot of people with jewels. You don't see a lot of people with gems and diamonds and and gold and all these nice things and, and hundred dollar this and thousand dollar pair of that and and all these things. We're not hating on anybody that wants to look nice. Yo, God bless you. All right. You got you got some good. You got some uh, some good money and you can buy some good things. Hey, send a donation my way today. All right. But anyway, um. The, the things that you possess is in you. It's in you. And you have something in you that other people don't have, all right? And, and all your qualities, all your traits, everything that makes you feel good about who you are, those are the things that you have within you. Those are the things that other people, they just don't have. And they wish they did have it. And that's why when you, when you, it, it feels like people have a problem with you going out to enjoy yourself. You just go into a Ross, you, you, you're not going to, uh, uh, the, the, you're not going to the, the mall where all the stars go to. You will one day and you, you, I know you see yourself going there and you are already there, but as, as sure as this geese over here is clucking and confirming, you will have the type of things that you you want to have in life but the reason why people have such a problem with it's like yo i'm just doing this little small thing i'm just going out to get me a little bite to eat i'm just going to get me some little water ice or whatever i'm just uh going to the store to pick up a one pair of shoes all right i'm just yo know, and they only about 80 dollars at that all right, y'all. I'm just I'm just going to get me a little eighty pot eighty dollar pair of shoes. I'm not getting the three hundred dollar Air Max or the Jordans or the the whatever it is. I'm not getting that. But people have a problem, and she, you, you think you got a problem. They got a problem with you getting some regular stuff. They got a problem with you doing the regular regular. Wait till they see you doing the uh, the more in store. All right, wait till they see you with, with more in store. All right, and walking out the store with it too. Wait, yo, just wait, cause it's coming. All right, so um, they have an issue with you doing things because it's like they feel it's over the top for you they, they already feel that you're doing too much all right even 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 with your little 15 dollar pair of shoes on or your little your little five dollar shirt or your little whatever it is that you got right now you probably got better stuff than that and god bless you all right but um even with the even with you doing things on a minimal scale that's all i'm saying i don't know how much your stuff costs i don't be watching you while you go shopping that's not my job all right that's not what i like to do all right I, i'm enjoying my own self while i'm out sorry but anyway yo the the even when you do things on the minimal scale even when you do things on the yo this duck is trying to be like me even when you do things on the minimal scale um people are going to have a problem with it people are going to have a problem with the things that you even do on a minimal scale because they're going to feel that you're doing too much you're blessed and when you're blessed and when people can see you're blessed and they see God's hand on your life and they see God uh, working with you and 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 they see things working for you and they don't see things working against you they're going to try to be the person and the thing that works against you all right they're going to try to be the thing that works against you because 
they can see how things are turning out for you and they can see how things are going to turn out for you. And they may not want things to turn out for you the way they are. They may not want you to become uh, successful as you could, you could become. They may not want to see you get something new or do something good or have something better. They may not want to see those things, but they're, if they're paying attention to you and if they're worried about you, they have to see it. It's something that they're going to have to see. They're choosing to watch you. They're choosing to worry about you. They're choosing to focus on you. They're the one's choosing to be bent out of shape over you. And when people choose to be bent out of shape over you and they already see things that are in you and not on you, when you go to get some things, they're going to have a huge problem. They are going to have an extreme problem with you going to get the things that you want and the things that you need because they're going to feel like you already have enough. They're going to feel like you already have it all. They're going to feel like you're already the one. As the sprinkler shoots out into this this path here, and there's not even any uh, grass here to be watered. But anyway, and of course you walk away like a. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, um, told you I wasn't lying. Y'all hear that sprinkler? But anyway, let me avoid this sprinkler real quick. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, you still had to leave, man. That 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 geese was on overdrive. It was geesing it up. All right. Anyway, um, people will feel some kind of way about you personally doing things and getting things and acquiring things and having things. All right. You may be driving a car that is less expensive than someone else. All right. Maybe you're not. Maybe you got the most expensive car, but you yeah, you really know what I'm talking about if you're watching my videos. But um, maybe you have. Um, the, maybe you have a car that's, uh, maybe not that expensive right now, or maybe you have something that is not that, uh, important right now. People would look at it and people would say to themselves, uh, there's nothing special about that. But when you're driving it, when you have it clean, when you have it shining, when you take it to the car wash, when you, uh, make it look good, they're going to have a problem with it. See, when it comes to you, you're able to make, you're able to do more with less. <clears throat> excuse me, you're able to do more with less. And that's why a lot of people have an issue with you working at your job. That's why a lot of people have an issue with you working your little four hours or working your little eight hours or, or whatever job you've ever had. People have had a problem with you and hated you for no reason. And that's why people hate you for no reason is because what you have is in you and it's not on you. It's nothing that they could go by. They watch you. They try to look at what you get. Oh, maybe it's them, them snacks he eats or maybe it's those pants he wear. Maybe it's those shades he has on or maybe it's, it's none of that. The, the, that's just those are just things that you like. And, and don't don't let you have a little style with it. They really they're, they're really going to have to, uh, see a problem. All right. Um, there's something about you that draws people to you. All right. You have charisma. You have swag. You have uh, some good looks. You have some some good um, energy. You have good karma. It's a lot of things that make you stand out. You're not out here trying to rip other people's throat out unless they do something to you. Um, you're not out here bothering people for no reason at all. You're not trying to cause anybody to hate their life. Some you don't you don't have to pull other people down to make yourself feel good. All right, those are those are things that you don't have to do. You don't have to hurt people or harm people or make somebody uh, think twice about their life and, and make them feel like they're not doing anything. You don't have to do that. Some people, they live by that. They wake up in the morning and they can't wait until they see the person that they bully or bother or try to torment every day. Until that person figures out how to handle that, then they're going to back the heck off. But until then, until that point, they're going to try to have their fun and have a jolly good old time. All right. They're going to they're going to wear this one. Uh, they're going to wear try to wear you down. But um. You know, they're going to try to wear you down because you wear the crown and keep, you know, keep wearing your crown. All right. Keep wearing your crown. You know, you might have the cock to the side all right? you may have it on the back of your head. You may, you know, however you want to wear that thing. All right. You, you do you. All right. But anyway, any way. This is why it seems like people have a problem with you acquiring your desires when you do things that make you happy. If you already are blessed, if you already are are talented and skilled in certain areas, if you already look good, people are going to have a problem with that. You, you, you could you could potentially not even be where you want to be, like I said. But if you have a little something, if you have something that uh, you like to wear or if, if it looks clean or if you wear it well, 
then they're going to have an issue with uh, seeing you look nice. Even if it's, they're going to, they're going to think you may have something on that you just put together real well. They're going to treat it like it's a, a, a suit, a three piece suit or something. They're going to treat it like it's, um, it, it's like the finest, finest thing, uh, in the, in the whole entire world. They're going to treat it like, uh, you just went to a, a, a boutique or something, or you just, you just got you some Givenchy or something. And you may just got you some, uh, well, whatever is given. I don't know what is given, but you may have got something, but you know, they, they treat the little things you do, the things that you see as minimal, they treat it as the maximum. And that's why people will have a problem with you because the minimal things that you do, people are going to look at it on the maximum level. You're just going out to eat and sit in a park and chill and people are looking at you like a king sitting on a throne. That's because you are a king sitting on a throne or a queen sitting on a throne and you carry your crown with you and you carry your throne with you wherever it is you go. And that's why people have an issue with you. Do Why does it seem like people just have a problem with me doing this? Why does it seem like people just have a problem with me doing that? Because they feel that you're not supposed to have anything. And they're threatened by the things that you do have. They're threatened by the, that, the fact that you might have more than what you do. They don't know what you really have. They don't know what you're really up to. They don't know what you're really doing. But they have an issue with seeing you do things because they don't know how far it's going to take you. They don't know where exactly you're going to go. And they want to so bad. And they also want to be able to get in the way of that and stop it and stop you all in the same breath. That's why it seems like people have a problem with you acquiring what it is your desire. Because when you get it, they're going, their stomach is going to turn inside out. They're going to hate themselves so much to have to see you with it. And it's, it's sad to say that. It sounds egotistical as I don't know what. But if they hate you now, just wait until you actually get to where you're trying to go. Just wait until you actually become what it is you're supposed to become or doing what it is you're supposed to do. Just you wait. If you think you're catching flack now, just you wait. If you think they feel some type of way now, just you wait. Mark these words, all right? Yo, put a bookmark on it. Put a stamp on it, all right? Put a stamp on it. Drink some water so you don't cramp on it, all right? Um, you are acquiring your desires, even if you don't physically have them yet. People are going to faint. People are going to fall out. People are going to uh, pass out of exhaustion. People are going to just, you know, just... Uh, like, like they saw Michael Jackson or something. Um, people are going to feel some type of way, the opposite of any, any, any they're going to incredibly feel the opposite of anything positive when it comes to you acquiring what it is you desire, getting the things out of life that you want, becoming what it is you're supposed to be, having what it is you're supposed to have. They're going to feel some type of way about it because they, in their mind, you're not supposed to have it. In their mind, you were never supposed to get it. In their mind, you were never supposed to become successful, be anything, do anything, have anything. And it's sad that people feel this way, but they look at you and they, they look at you and they say you already have enough. You hit you you hit you hit God's lottery when they look at your life. Being a chosen one is like hitting the lottery of God. All right, you got this. You you got that Christ in you. You got that Christ energy. You got that Christ consciousness. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. And you you can't you can't have Jesus in you and, and not have people see it. You can't have the presence of God moving in you through you and as you and and not have people see it. You can't. You can't. You'll see when you believe in God, you'll see things that other people don't even see. You'll look at something, it'll say something, and then you'll look back a second later and it'll say something else. You'll be like, yep, that's God in you. God, yo, when you have the eyes of God, you see what you want to see. When you when you look through the eyes of God and you are observing things around you in your life, you see what you want to see. You don't see what the average person sees. Somebody may look at something and see nothing. You may look at it and see something great and amazing and, and incredible. And this is why it seems like people have a problem with you. They know that you get a greater experience out of life. You're out to eat, enjoying your meal, enjoying your food. That food is hitting. Their taste buds ain't hitting like yours. You got the empath taste buds, all right? You, them, their, their taste, that meal ain't hitting like it is for, for them. You, you over there like, mm. <laughs> you really tasting that thing. You savoring, savoring your food, chewing up, you know, chew, you know, enjoying every bite. 
You, like you really enjoy yourself thoroughly and have a good time. People can't enjoy themselves like you do. That's why you'll find people staring at you and hating on you. They can tell that, yo, they, they're get the energy that you're giving is somebody enjoying themselves and having a really good time and having a really good day. You know, people are going to gaslight you. People are going to feel some type of way about you. People are going to be ignorant towards you. People are going to say awful things to you. But it's all because that they, they feel a, a wholeness in your type of spirit. They feel the Holy Spirit on you. They feel a lot of good energy coming from you. And they see a lot of good things in you. And they see a lot of potential in you. They see you growing in the right direction. And not only are you going in the right direction, you're growing in the right direction and nobody's perfect. So people can have whatever they have to say at the end of the, at the end of the day, you're still great. You're still going to achieve something. You're still going to be something. You're still going to become something. They could have whatever it is they want to have to say, and they could be as rude as they want and ignorant as they want. It still cannot stop what God has for you. What the Lord gives you, no man can take it away. What this world didn't give you, the world can't take it away. What God gave you, this world can't take it away. And it, it, it's so it's so much about you that this world cannot take away. And they just they just can't get it. They just can't get it up from under you. They can't get you to let go of it. They can't take it from your grasp. All right, you when it comes to you and your success, you like Patrick. He said, firmly grasp it. You, you, you got your success firmly grasped. And you have your idea of yourself firmly grasped. May not be where you want to be, but as long as you have an idea of what you want to be, there's nothing stopping you. And that's why people don't want you to become successful because they don't know what you have in your mind, but they know it's something mighty fine. They know it's something good. They know it's something better than good. They know it's something amazing. They know it's something great because they see how you act. They see how you walk. They see how you talk. They see how you carry yourself. And they know it's something else that comes with that. They know it's something that is in your mind that is going to be created and brought out into this world in due time. And they don't want to be around to see it happen. And that's why people, and that's why it seems like people have a problem with you acquiring what it is you're, what you, what it is you desire. Because if you can get one thing, you can get anything. If you can get something, you can get everything. All right. That's why it seems like they have a problem with you getting fly. All right. You may walk around in some other kind of clothes, but as soon as you get fly, as soon as you put that little, you know, little shirt on and, 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 and pants on and things like that, they are really going to have a problem with it. All right. They're not going to want to see you live your life the way your God entailed for you. They're not going to want to see you live your life the way you're supposed to, because according to them, you already have enough. You're already blessed. Well, you're blessed. What else should this person get? This person is blessed. What else do they need? This person has got it all. What else does it do they need? They see you as having it all because you're blessed. They see you as having being successful already because you're blessed. And it's like, no, I'm hungry. I want it all. I want to become successful. I, I, I desire more. I require more. I want more things. As the sprinkler shoots out even further because he turned off the other one and he's that mad that somebody that doesn't look like him is out here trying to enjoy this park. But we don't care about that because we're a chosen vessel and we're still going to uh, do what we need to do and get to where we need to go and acquire what it is we desire. All right, as the birds in nature are confirming this truth. They're like, yeah, Drew, yeah, Drew, yeah, Drew. All right, so this is why it seems like people have a problem with you. People don't even want you to walk through a, a park. They don't even want you to walk through the woods. If you didn't, you don't want somebody to walk through a park, you shouldn't have lived in front of one. You shouldn't have bought the property in front of the park. You shouldn't have bought the property on the park if you didn't want somebody to enjoy this park. But it's a free park, and it's a, we're going to enjoy this park. All right, and as every as people say, it's a free country. So hey, I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, I'm gonna enjoy this park, sir. All right, you could try to. Yeah, I gotta. I, you don't know what I got on me. If I gotta, if I gotta pull the Drew Tube umbrella out so I can stay dry, I will. All right, but anyway, shout out to the Drew Tube Drew Tube umbrella in my, in, you know, in, in my knapsack, and that ain't the only thing I got in here. All right, if you really want to be a hater, but anyway, I got, I, 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 I carry mine too. I carry mine too. But anyway, um. Why it seems like people have a problem with you acquiring your desires. They don't want you to have anything. Some people, they just, they don't want you to have anything. You have too much already just by waking up in the morning, being you, looking like you, being great, being successful, being fantastic, being amazing, being, being the, the beautiful you that you already are. They feel you have too much. And guess what? You're not going to stop there. You're going to get more. They, they have a problem with what you have already on the minimal level. On the on the minimized level, you you mini, you might even be mini me right now with it. All right, wait wait till you wait till you get shack level. 
Yeah, wait, 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 wait till you get Shaq level with it. They are going to have an even bigger problem, and that's okay. Some people, they despise the success in other people. They despise the greatness in other people. They despise what they see you potentially being able to become. They despise it, and they're supposed to. They're just a hater doing their job. God uses haters to let you know just how great you are. God uses haters just to let you know just how uh, amazing and just how special and just how wonderful you truly are. You are God's creation. You are uh, uh, you are God manifested in this physical realm as man or as woman. You have God in you. All right. And you're not going to stop ex experimenting. You're not going to stop experiencing the God in you for people who have a problem with you, people who have the devil in them, people who are mad, people who are upset, people who are hating the fact that you are you already have God in you. All right, you already have greatness in you, and you're going to kick it up a notch. You're going to take it to the next level. You're going to take it to a higher realm. You're going to take it to another level. All right, you, you're going you're gonna to take it to the house, as they used to say a, a, a couple decades ago. Take it to the house. All right, shout out to everybody that, everybody, everybody. Shout out to everybody that knows about that, you know. And people just have awful things to say. You know, um, people hate the fact that you have some type of intelligence. You have some type of... Um, you have some type of greatness. You, you're, you're a very wise person. You may not do things the way they do it, but that's what genius is. Genius is you still seeing the, you, yourself being able to become successful no matter where you're at, no matter what you have, no matter what you have going on. You believe in yourself. You see things as possible. You know things can happen. And it is what it is. You, you, you know, you may not have what everyone else has. You may not be supposed to have what some people have. Some people may feel some kind of way about what it is you do. They may have their opinion. But guess what? You still look good doing it. And you're not going to care what they think you because you're going to look good. You're going to feel good. You're going to smell good. You're going to eat good. You're going to live good. And you're going and you're going to even bank good. You're going to even make sure that you bank good. Your pockets are going to be even good. I'm not sure if that's somebody whistling or if that's actually a bird. And I don't think that's a bird. That sounds like a person. That's probably a person. Um, this park is probably a little bit closer to people's backyards than I would like. But it is what it is. Um, we're not going to stop. You know, you, you, you soundtrack to whoever's whistling in the background. That's cool. But in order to hear it, you still got to log on and watch my video. So... And it's not going to stop us from doing what we need to do. But um, why it seems like people have a problem with you, you know, um, people have a problem with you because they don't want you to become anything than you already are. They have hatred towards you. Um, they don't want you to become successful. They don't want to see you become successful. They don't want to see you make anything of yourself. A lot of people have hatred because you're creative and you're able to use your mind and you're able to use your mind uh, way better than they could. You probably think of ideas that they never thought of or crossed their mind. You're probably on a level mentally and intellectually that they're not. So it is what it is. Some people, they're just flat out jealous and they just have so much hatred. They have to spread it around. All right, some people have so much love and joy they got to spread it around. Some people have so much hatred that they have to spread it around. All right, and why it seems like people have a problem with you, they don't want you to get off the ground floor. They don't want you to elevate. They don't want you to get to the next level where you're supposed to get to where you're on the way, you're on the verge, you're on the brink. You're going to get there no matter what they think. All right, they may have an attitude that stinks, and that's okay because – you're going to enjoy yourself regardless. You're going to you're going to get fly, you're going to get dressed up, you're going to look good and you're going to feel good while you're doing it. Some people they you 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 may look fly already without the new clothes. You get what I'm saying? You may look fly already without the new clothes. You may look fly already without the new this or the new that or the best this or the best that. But even even when you dress up with what you got or even when you utilize what you got or even when you make the best use of what it is you have, some people are going to have a problem with that. If that was a bird, that was very beautiful. Somebody let me know if what we heard in the background was actually a bird or if you think that was a person just being a knucklehead. If that was a bird, that was extremely beautiful. And, hey, I don't have no problem with that. But I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, it is what it is. Um, some people, you know, may appreciate the way you deliver and the way you do things. Other people, they may have their opinion on it or they may not like it, but screw them. Who cares what they think? 
you're still becoming successful anyway. Everyone does things that they do the way they do it. And regardless, if you love it, if you like it, people will too. You'll find your tribe. People will appreciate you. People will want to see you win. People will want to see you become successful. People will want to see you do your thing. And you'll still be able to become great in anything, as the great Les Brown said. All right. Anything that's worth doing right is worth doing wrong until you get it right. People may not like the way you sound. They may not like the way you talk. They may not like the way you speak. They may think you don't sound intelligent when you think you sound like a genius. Who knows? But it is what it is. Anything worth doing right is worth doing wrong until you get it right. All right, and this has been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I'll see you in the next one. Salute to everybody watching. Uh, peace, love, and light. We out.